Hey, Anya Independent Sensei Consultant here, and I wanted to participate in this May Wax Challenge. Um, I've seen Melissa Johnson Haight talk about it, um, and I'm not sure who else. There were two other YouTubers that I saw mention this. Um, so I wrote down my list after being inspired by Melissa yesterday. Um, and this was fun to pick this out. I was gonna wait until this weekend, but my, my brain was like, no you are hyper fixated on the wax and you need to go do this now. So I picked this up last night. Um, I have what the prompts are written down here as well as my notebook with the set notes. So let's get started. May 1st, um, in honor of May's birthstone, melt an emerald colored wax. And I went with aloe vera and ivy, which is, is just a fresh green melon scent. I feel like this, I haven't worn this in quite some time because I got sick of it. <laughs> I think I burned out on it with the the scent of the month kit when this came out. And I think bless, bless this home warmer. Um, so it's been a while. So I think it'll be okay to warm this. Uh, day two, May 2nd is teacher day, melt a scent with apples. And I went with apple, apple, well, apple cherry strudel. And this one is Granny Smith Cherry Vanilla Drizzle. Insists on this on a dessert finish. I'm sorry, dessert first. I can't read. It's just a great apple cinnamon bakery. Oh, I can't wait to warm that. I've only warmed two cubes. And actually, I bought this off the black market for Scentsy products <laughs> for people who were de-stashing. De so um, I needed a bakery fix and I needed like... A lot of different kinds of bars. Anyway, number three is melt a scent that contains raspberry. And I went with a new one for this catalog, Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. This one is a warm cup of wild raspberry and hibiscus petals with a spoonful of elderberry sugar. I almost wanted to say elderberry syrup. Okay, May 4th, be, may the 4th be with you. Uh, melt a Star Wars or star shaped scent. And the only Star Wars bar I have currently is the Mandalorian Air of Adventure. And this one is Silver Mint, Crisp Bergamot, Geranium, Eucalyptus, and Orange Zest. It's awesome. It is awesome. If you haven't had this bar yet, I would say it's in like the fresh, fresh, maybe woodsy category. It's it, kind of reminiscent of Cologne, but not like a lot of the strong notes it's everything is balanced very well may 5th for cinco de mayo melt a lime scent i don't have a straight up lime and i have a cherry limeade i know melissa picked this one too i think i love this bar and i don't know if you know but the packaging on this is pretty old and she's kind of shiny walls are separating but it doesn't mean it's not going to give a good performance she's still as strong as ever Okay, hey, May 6th is melt a mint, grass, or dirt scent for in honor of Kentucky Derby Day. So I went with one of three mints that I have in my possession. None of them are straight up regular mint. They're a blend. So this I chose Olaf Warm Hugs, which is cool mint, snow-covered woods surrounding a heart, a heart of warm vanilla. I need to write better or quit writing in such a <laughs> I can't read my own writing. Okay. Uh, next, May 7th is National Lemon Lemonade Day. Melt a lemon scent. And I decided to go with a sample from Rose Girls Wax. And this was in cream cheese lemon bars, which is cream cheese frosting, lemon curd, and buttery pie crust. The performance on this is amazing. Like, she gave, I think it was, like, six, six little cubies strong performer. My son was like, what is that? Next up, May 8th is Coconut Cream Pie Day. Melt a pie or coconut scent. I went with Coconut Daiquiri. I have a full bar of this. And this one I think is Coconut, Banana. Yeah, Coconut, Banana, and Vanilla Cream. 
We'll see if it gives me banana and coconut. Last time I warmed it was like a weird licorice note and I guess we'll see. I feel like over time it's kind of faded into the more banana, but when I was first warming it, I, I picked up on anise and I'm, I'm not a big fan of anise. Sorry, Melissa. <laughs> um, next up is melt a cereal or breakfast food scent. And I had two bars that I could have, actually three bars I could have chosen for this. Four. Now the thing about it, a lot of them are bakery scents, but the one I went with is blueberry pancakes. This one is kind of juicy. It's very strong, very heavy on the blueberry, very heavy on the maple. I think that one is blueberry and butter cord over light maple. Uh, that is like the darkest, darkest maple syrup I've ever smelled in my life. So we'll see. Number 10 or May 10th is melt something purple. I went with winterberry apple tea. If you looked at this container, it doesn't look purple. Bar kind of shifted. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the ones that have the, like the spice or the tea fragrance oils, but apple butter frosting does this too. Ugh, my, one of my favorite fall and winter year round scents. Winterberry apple tea is winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. It's so good. May 11th is use of a wax that's almost finished. This is from one of the Bring Back My Bars. And this is Fresh Daisies. Fresh Cut Daisies, excuse me. A meadow, a wash, and summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. I'm not going to sniff it because, uh, believe it or not, this is my second time recording this because my last one had no sound. So, it smells just like what it is. <laughs> Okay, melt a company friendly scent for May 12th. And I went with banana nut bread. It's not a full bar, I have a half bar. So I have four cubes, which will work perfectly for up here in the living room. May 13th is we all scream for ice cream. Melt an ice cream or popsicle wax. I went with rainbow sherbet. I feel like it's the best combination of the both of them. Creamy and fruit. And it's just such a bright, powerful scent and it's delicious. Rainbow, sh Rainbow Sherbet. Those noose are orange zest, sugar strawberry, and key lime zing. Key lime zing. I don't know if just felt like I said that weird. Um, it's so cute. Rainbows. It's pink. You can't go wrong with this bar. Everyone who's ever had it, great performer. Always they're like, man, this stuff's so good. Okay, number 14 is Mother's Day. Melt a floral or a scent that reminds you of mom. This, I don't have in a bar. I only have in a brick. Um, and this is indigo cotton, which is chambray on a clothesline. Breezy, clean, and serene. It used to be this really pale, like, blue. She's just colored. She's also been loved on, but I, like... Every once in a while, I'll melt it down and give like a few pieces of it to my sister because this smells just like my mom. Whenever we would give her hugs, this is what she would smell like. And why would I always ask her like, what are you wearing? She goes, nothing. I took a shower today. I'm like, okay, mom, thanks. <laughs> I mean, there's like certain perfumes that she would wear, but that just smelled like her. Okay, next up, not many sappy. Melt something that starts with M. This one took a hot minute for me to locate too. And I think this can apply for number 16 as well. This is my marshmallow mint cocoa brick. Um, I've made some pretty big progress on it. I've had this when it came out originally in the holiday or holiday collection, a brick collection. I want to say I have like four, I have five, five cubes in here. So these are all cut up into quarters. Um, and I like to keep the, the, ones I haven't touched yet or broken up yet just solid until I'm ready to break it down okay nope we're not on that page yet <laughs> what I was thinking um oh my so my goal was to melt a different bar even if multiple bars could apply to multiple prompts I decided to go with one bar per prompt so 
This one is melting out of season wax, and this is very snowy spruce. You can't get any out of more out of season than we're about to start in May, and this is like December scent for me. Next up is National Cherry Cobbler Day Melted Cherry or Bakery Scent. Here again, where that combination apple cherry strudel could definitely have foot in this category. But I decided to go with um, some vendor wax. This is Rose Girls Cherry Donut Holes. This is Maraschino Cherries and Freshly Baked Donut Holes. I've been on a kick. Like, I've wanted... I wanted to find, like, well, variations on donut scents. Um, and I kind of just had a hankering for bakery things. And I miss churro churro, but I'm very excited to know that's coming back in June. And I'm ordering six bars plus putting one in my club so I will always have it. Because <laughs> um, I really do like that scent. What I was going to say, though, is with cherry donut holes and also apple cherry strudel, they don't last a very long time. They'll be strong going out but like four hours later there's nothing left and it's very weird very weird I'm, i wonder if it's maybe the cherry who knows okay so melt something that's movie related for may 18th and i went with bambi's twitter pated you can't see it because i'm recording this on my phone um but it's a cute sagey green grass color and this one is Sunkissed Meyer Lemon, Morning Dew Drops, and Lush Wild Moss. I love this one. I feel like this one and Arab Adventure could be brothers, sisters, however you want to say it, sisters. I feel like they're in like the same category, same kind of profile. Okay, for May 19th is May Mate. M melt something that starts with the first letter of your first name. And I went with around the campfire, a Anya. I have one bar of this. I've been holding on to it since the last new releases for, I think, I don't remember if this was summer or spring and summer. 21, I think is the last time I got new bars. So she's had some time to cure. She's strong. She's strong. Around the campfire is Mount, Mountain Air. Fresh fallen wood and smoky embers. It kind of kind of reminds me of like the base notes and toasted marshmallow without the sweet. It's very very strong, very powerful performer. So hopefully it doesn't choke me out. <laughs> um, okay, melt a honey or yellow wax for May twentieth. I went with sparkling yellow. I have four cubes of this. This is just a fantastic lemon pineapple scent. Supposedly there's grapefruit. I love this when it came out with the Chase the Rainbows collection. Um, I think the only one, actually I just like the whole collection. I don't remember if they had a purple. I still have a little bit of blue. Blue is in here um, and I had rainbow red is in the catalog, which is awesome. The orange was really good. I am looking forward to melting sparkling yellow, so that'll be delicious. Okay, so May 21st is melt a strawberry creamy scent, and I don't have any more strawberry scents. Um, I've been trying to use up what I have. I digress. The choice I had was sun ripened berry, which has strawberry in it. Strawberry. I'm sorry, refreshing orange sorbet sprinkled with sun-ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. Yeah, I don't know if I smell orange. I smell more raspberry, like raspberry jam, than I do orange and the hint of strawberry. It's good. Oh, and that's not a whole bar either. That's like two cubes and like three sample sizes. Anyway, so not a whole bar, but I'm going to get through it. Uh, day 22 for May the 22nd is Victoria Day. Melt a scent fit for royalty. And this one I struggled with because I 
don't know. I just, I don't know what it would, what you would want to fragrance your castle with. <laughs> or your, like, your country cottage. I don't know. So I went with Iridescent Pearl. One, because it says Pearl in the name. And two, this is just a lovely scent. Iridescent Pearl it was ripe, juicy mango, apple blossom, and tranquil water lotus. I must have a thing for, like, fruit aquatic scents or fruit laundry. This pink cotton I love. I love this. Um, haven't gotten orchard by the sea yet. Um, it's pending in a basket right now or my shot, a party. So, anywho. Just based on what other YouTubers are reviewing on it, it sounds like it's right up my alley. And um, I'm looking forward to warming this because I've had this one for a while too. Okay, so May the 23rd is Melted Scent You Bought Based on Hype. <laughs> Arctic Kiss is my choice. This is not Scentsy Packaging, so I cut up my bricks. Um, and actually, because they take up so much space in the basket, I decided to like cut it and lay it flat uh, with my other brick scents. And a lot of my bricks are Christmas. I say Christmas or like right after Thanksgiving into the New Year since um, I just remember Lisa Roberry going on and on and on about how much she loved this so I remember she got her kit and I ordered my my scent of the month kit and got the brick in there um, and this is awesome so art to kiss I feel is year round can be used anytime it's just really fresh to me but it's like a sweet fresh um cool arctic mint fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy white clouds maybe that's where the melon hides is in the arctic air <laughs> i don't know but it's really good okay day 24 may 24th is melt a sleepy scent and i went with whipped vanilla lavender this one's really good too. I haven't warmed it since since it came out for Mother's Day. Um, and then I had a few bars in my club. I feel like it's just always good to have like one lavender scent. Because you just never know. My mom loves lavender so I always try to keep like a bar on hand for her. And my best friend, she loves lavender too. So this one's just really, really good. Really fresh. Whipped lavender is on the next page, so pardon me. It is sweet coconut milk, whipped vanilla, soothed by English lavender. It performs really good for me in the bedroom and also in the bathroom, um, but it's not very strong out in an open concept, so just be mindful if you have that as well. Let's see. Melt a wine-colored or wine-inspired scent for May 25th. I went with this bar, which is French Kiss. Used to be my all-time favorite. Like, this is one of the bars I had obsessed with when I was first a customer with Scentsy. Looks so bad, I probably bought a three-pack and would only melt one cube at a time to melt to fragrance my whole apartment. <laughs> uh, anyway, French Kiss is Sweet Fig, Coconut Pulp, Exotic Cedar, and Caramel. To me, it just smells like a very feminine, cozy scent without being floral. It's got to be the fig in it I like. It's marshmallow, or my wish has marshmallow and fig in it. I, I don't know. I really like that one too. Okay, so I think the 26th, May 26th is melt a blue or fish shaped wax. I did blue or fish inspired and also blue blue um so i have ursula poor unfortunate for wow ursula poor unfortunate souls blue wax half bar i had this in my stash when the villains collection came out as so i had gone through the whole bundle and then i warmed all three of them and i ordered another bundle <laughs> and this i've had this since that time I'm trying to see if there's like a pour date on here. I can't remember if they put it on here or not. It's under the sticker. I don't know, but you can tell she's seen better days. 
and poor unfortunate souls is wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, bubbly goji berry, and vanilla silk. I don't smell any vanilla. It just is a very sharp fruity berry. It's it's awesome. I'm gonna say sharp tart. Um, number twenty seven. For May 27th is Melt a Scent that Contains Sandalwood. And I went with Summer Moonlight. And Summer Moonlight is Fresh Strawberries, Sweet Pea, and Shimmering Sandalwood. This is just so... This is... I bought a room spray. Because when this scent came out, I fell in love immediately. Um, so when the season ends this bar and like six others go into my scentsy club so I will have them always but what I was going to say is about a room spray that I sometimes will spritz in the air and let it land on me so it's my perfume because it smells so good and it lasts a really long time I don't recommend that like direct spray but like if you happen to spray your room and you walk under the mist I think we'll be okay <laughs> Okay, uh, 28. Give a questionable scent a second chance. I struggled with this for a very, very long time. I can't warm this smell without getting a headache. It came from the Life's a Garden wax collection. Chamomile Daisy. Um, and it is bright lemon zest warms to a tranquil tea inspired blend of chamomile and fresh picked daisy. I've had this a hot minute. Um, we'll see if I can get away with two cubes and I might have to put like some vanilla bean buttercream in somewhere I don't know how else to fix that it hurts my head <laughs> maybe I should pick a different bar shouldn't be wealth melting bars they give you a problem if you don't like it you don't have to keep it but that's part of the problem for me I spent money on this but I I feel like I need to use it if I so I don't waste it yeah anywho <laughs> number 29 is Memorial Day melt a red white or blue scent or wax combo so I don't have any white but I decided to try these two together so I have oh snapdragon from one of the new releases I feel like this was 2020 2021 maybe no 2020 because that was a lot of floral based scents they did a lot that year and chasing rainbows blue I don't know if I have nope I have no scent notes I love the chase rainbows blue I will be sad when this goes but it also will be nice to have space for other bars um, so that's my memorial day also I did six so it almost counts as a full bar. <laughs> um, okay, so May 30th is Melt Something Orange. I went with Rise and Sunshine. This one is, of course, orange. Sunny orange sparkles over the eye-opening sweetness of cherry red berries. Um, this smells like friendship tea to me, which is like tang and instant tea and red hot cinnamon. We used to make that, or my mom used to make that as gifts. Um, for like co-workers and family or we would drink it she would make a b big like gallon container of like the dry mix and we make it and it was just a cool alternative to like cider and cocoa but that's what that spell reminds me of so I won't have a problem melting that one I'm looking forward to it actually none of these I'm really scared of melting other than that chamomile daisy <laughs> okay and 20 or the 31st is national smile day melt one of your favorites and this has become my all-time all-time favorite bar and guess who missed on putting it in her club cashmere and corduroy such a beautiful scent if you liked cozy cardigan this is a great alternative to cozy cardigan and the notes on this bar is creamy vanilla sicilian bergamot and cashmere sandalwood sandalwood 
it's got to be it's got to be the sandalwood but like if it's blended with like satin sheets i just i couldn't get down with that and that's just sandalwood and vanilla but this one would be throwing the bergamot and maybe it's like a bakery vanilla i i'm not sure how they did it but that's that's melt my favorite bar so that is what my basket is looking like 31 different scents she's huge all of these did fit in one with box at one point, but I couldn't close it, so I just decided to leave it open. Um, that is what I'm warming for the May Wax Challenge. Let me know your thoughts. Like, do you have something that you're warming that you're excited about getting to? I know I am because this is going to clear out space for new bars and bricks. <laughs> so, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it. If not, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me today. You take care. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.